This is good work if you can get it. The Daily Mail reports that an American billionaire family offered a whopping $127,000 per year for an attentive dog nanny to take care of their posh pooches. The baffling online job ad called for an exceptional and highly experienced worker to provide unparalleled care and attention to their two large dogs. The full-time nanny needed to live with the family in London, England, but would get to jet off with the pampered pets whenever the family traveled. The ad also claimed that the nanny would need to organize playdates with other dogs, food supplies, vet appointments, and keep detailed records of their health. As you can imagine, the job ad went viral, forcing the family to take it down after applications rose to more than 2,000 in a span of just a few days. No word on whether this very important position has been filled. Okay, so this sounds like a plot in like a Will Ferrell movie. The Times Union reports that decades of research were allegedly destroyed in a science lab because a janitor got annoyed by a freezer's beeping alarm and turned off a circuit breaker. The Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute Lab in Troy, New York, filed a lawsuit against the outside firm that employed the cleaner, claiming the mishap caused at least a million dollars in damage. The freezer contained cell cultures, samples, and other research elements that were stored at minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit until September 2020, when an employee of Daigle Cleaning Services turned off the breaker. That caused the temperature to rise to a relatively toasty minus 25.6 degrees Fahrenheit and resulted in the materials being damaged or destroyed. There was a sign on the door to the lab's freezer explaining the source of the alarm, with instructions on how to mute it. But the janitor opted for his own destructive method. The lawsuit seeks unspecified monetary damages. This was one hard-working, multitasking fraudster. WBUR News reports that an adult woman attended not one, but three separate Boston high schools as a student this year using fake identification. The woman attended the Jeremiah E. Burke High School, Brighton High School, and English High School using the student transfer process and enrolling under multiple pseudonyms, according to Superintendent Mary Skipper. A redacted copy of a Boston Police Department report identifies the woman as white, but does not include other information like age. It does not name a motive. It appears the woman previously worked as a social worker at the Massachusetts Department of Children and Families. In a statement to WBUR, the agency confirmed she was employed there, but her employment had ended earlier this year. This isn't the first instance this year that an adult has been accused of impersonating a student. In New Jersey, a 29-year-old woman attended New Brunswick High School for nearly a week before being caught and charged with providing documents that falsified her age. What do you think is the motive for doing this? Post your thoughts in the comments. The headline for this one says it all. A Harvard behavior scientist who studied honesty has been accused of fabricating data. Yeah, you heard that right. The New York Times reports that Harvard Business School's Francesca Gino allegedly chalked up phony results tied to studies, including one focused on, yeah, honest behavior. In a blog called Data Collada, run by three behavioral scientists, it alleged fraud in four academic papers that Gino co-authored. One paper claimed that people who fill out tax forms or insurance documents are more honest if they attest to the truth of their responses at the top of the page instead of the bottom. An experiment asked about 100 participants to complete a worksheet where they were led to believe that they wouldn't get caught if they cheated. But in reality, researchers would know the validity of their answers. The study could then determine how truthful the participants were. But the three scientists in their blog post alleged that some of the data had been tampered with. Gino has been honored as one of the top 40 business professors under 40 and has notched numerous awards. She was placed on leave, according to her business school webpage. I mean, unless that's a lie too. If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. I mean, hey! 
My cat's gotta eat. <laughs>